In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process for calculating the circumference of a circle. The first thing I want to do, though, is go over the difference between a circumference and the area of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the perimeter. Think about it this way. If you were to cut the circle at any point and pull it apart into a straight line, that distance would be the circumference. The area of a circle is going to be the space inside of it, the shaded area of a flat two-dimensional circle. Before we get into calculating the circumference, let's make sure you're straight on some of the terminology you'll need to know. First, it's the diameter. The diameter of a circle is a straight line that goes from side to side and runs through the center of a circle. The radius. It is a line that goes from the center of a circle to the outer edge. The radius is always half of the diameter. Pi. This is a number used to describe the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Think about if you were to take a line of the diameter and wrap it around the circumference of a circle, it would take you approximately 3.14 lengths of that diameter to go completely around the circle. The number pi itself extends out for an infinite number of digits. It's an approximation. But for the video today, we're going to use 3.14 as our number for pi. So let's talk about the formula for calculating the circumference. You can actually do it two ways. 2 times pi times the radius. Or, since we know diameter is double the radius, you can calculate it as pi times diameter. Let's walk through a couple of examples. Find the circumference of a circle with the radius of 6 centimeters, diameter of 12 centimeters. We take 2 times 3.14 of pi times our radius of 6, and we get 37.68 centimeters. You get the same answer when you multiply the diameter of 12 times pi. One more example. Find the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 15 centimeters. We take pi of 3.14 times 15 centimeters, and we get 47.1 centimeters. Hopefully that was easy to understand. If you want to know how to calculate the area of a circle, I'll put a link to that video in the description. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.